Price comparison sites are part of the furniture of the internet these days and certainly dominate the ad breaks. And our next pair of entrepreneurs want to extend the concept to the world of cosmetic treatments. Hi Dragons, my name's Ganesh and I'm a doctor. Hi Dragons, my name's Tim and I'm an optician. Together we run treatmentsaver.com. We're here today asking for a £100,000 investment for a 20% stake in our business. Treatment Saver is a website where people can compare clinics, book their appointments online and save money. And best of all, it's free. We are currently the only site in the UK to offer this unique service, with 200 people a month booking their laser eye surgery and cosmetic consultations through us. So we initially launched online appointment booking for laser eye surgery last year and we're already in partnership with the three biggest chains in the field. And we honestly believe our medical backgrounds gave us a huge advantage in helping us establish these relationships with the clinics because we understand things from both a commercial but also a clinical point of view. Dragons, we need your help to realise our dream of becoming the Expedia for clinics. So that's our pitch, guys. Thanks for listening and obviously, as usual, we do welcome any questions. An assertive pitch from these two medical entrepreneurs. They're asking for £100,000 for a 20% stake in their one-stop treatment shop. Internet ideas get mixed reviews in the den and Deborah Meaden is keen to get to the bottom of their business model. You say you're booking 200 of these a, a, month. a month, month at the moment. Yeah. OK, so how many treatment centres have you got loaded up onto this already? We've got close to probably 500 branches, 500 uh, different treatment centres. Um, and what's your revenue model? How do you actually make money out of it? When somebody books an appointment on our site, we get paid. How much money are you making? Uh, last year we made, just up to March, that was the end of the year, uh, we made 65,000 in sales. Um, with the £25,000 net profit. So you've no expenses? We've got very little expenses. One of the reasons is, is that the traffic is, 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 is free. We don't pay for it because it's organic. Signing people up relies on how much traffic you can yeah. drive to your site, doesn't it? Because yeah. if you go and get traffic, they don't get customers. So let's talk through those numbers. How much traffic, how many eyeballs are... Well, we currently get 25,000 visitors per month and that's, that's just all organic free traffic at the moment. I'd say 25,000 is tiny. 25,000 a month. I mean, I will launch a website, we get that in a day. Yeah. A reality check from Peter Jones on the numbers needed to make a website really pack a punch. Now, Piers Linney wants to discover how they plan to attract those all-important customers. So this is a very simple business. And basically, you're a price comparison website, yeah. simplistically. Yeah. And we all know how much cash they spend on advertising. So you, it's about eyeballs. The question for you is, how do you get eyeballs there? And the way you get eyeballs there is through marketing. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, are you going to be able to do that with, you know, £100,000? I don't think it's just, just money. I think it's, you know, maybe your, your skills. I don't know how much background you've got in terms of websites, but I'm sure there's members well, you, of your team... Well, if, if you don't know, then you should be embarrassed. Because when I, if I come in and pitch to somebody, I want to make sure who I'm pitching to. Yeah, sorry, sorry. The one thing I've noticed about your website is you seem to have forgotten the brand. So you've got a name, but you don't see a brand. That's a very generic, consumer-facing website. If you look at the design of, say, some of our some of the competitor sites, we're ten times better designed than some of those sites. That's a terrible answer. Sorry. That is a terrible answer. I think the point is... is, is so, so that you are better than other sites that are really not very good yeah, look, does not sidestep the reason for you to own a site. Do you know, you, that is the moment, because there's no branding on that at all. Let me tell you your problem. You are going to have to spend a fortune. And actually, sitting here and only asking for £100,000 is not going to do it unless you tell me right now that you've got half a million pounds sitting in your back pocket. No. Not with us, no. But I, but I think, I mean, 
the, 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 we're doing 25,000 visits a month. We think, because we're very good at what we do, and I think if we work you know, on a combined PR and social media strategy, we're pretty confident we, we can get much better traffic. And, and that is going to cost you a fortune. Trust me, 100,000 is not going to do it. So I, I won't be investing. I'm out. Fearing the website won't work without a hefty investment, Deborah Meaden bows out of a deal. But it is not over yet. Four dragons remain. If you read the papers, certainly last yeah. week, yeah. there's all the stuff about Botox and fillers yeah, is, saying yes. that the government is going to clamp down because everybody's saying that they can do it now and they're going to have tighter controls over yeah. it. It's such a tricky area because people are being sued all the time because yeah. there are people that are doing all these surgeries that are not really qualified to do it. How do you know that the people that you put on to your site, that you're recommending to people... We're not recommending anybody. Well, we're, you we're, sort of are. We're not. We're, then we, make it quite, we're, we, we, we basically list the clinics and we list the prices, we allow comparison, and then the reviews, people can decide f from the reviews which clinic they yes, want to go to. but it's still your brand at the top. When you buy car insurance or yeah. some other, even a flight in many ways, they're very standardised products. As long as the, you know, the comparisons are the same, yeah. you get the same cover, it doesn't really matter really in many ways. Whereas, you know, going to a surgery is quite different. There's a little bit more to it. But the thing is, is even though it is treatment, slight laser eye surgery, there's still six out of ten people. Price is still their number one reason. Rubbish, they go rubbish, ahead. rubbish, Tim, rubbish. <laughs> Complete and utter rubbish. That's from Absolute the... Absolute hogwash. I think you're all completely missing the point. It doesn't matter how many people have eye surgery. Yeah. What matters is how many of them, for your business, go into Google to find the eye surgeon. Yeah. I had eye surgery. I didn't go on Google. Yeah. I did what the majority of people do. I got a recommendation from someone who'd had it done. What I'm more concerned about is, when I go and get my eyes done, is I walk out being able to see and have my eyes done properly, not the price. The dragon's exasperation is becoming obvious. And that is making it increasingly difficult for the duo to salvage their pitch. Let's assume that you can attract a particular, very specific kind of traffic. So you might make a couple hundred thousand pounds or even more at the, at the bottom. Yeah. If you can make that happen, great. The issue you're going to have is that one day you'll wake up and one of the big price comparison websites will think, you know what? non-surgical cosmetic appointments, we'll get into that game, and then the, then the show's over. So, good luck with it, um, but it's not something I'd invest in, so I'm out. OK, thank you. I, I, I think what Pierre says is rubbish, because... Oh, really? I don't think you can make a living out of it. This is just a non-starter. OK. And I'm out. Thank you. Guys, um, for me, it doesn't work because I agree 100%. Because it's medical, I don't think you use it the same way as you do to book a flight or a car. I think there are too many things you read about in the paper about companies as setting up these medical um, areas that are doing Botox and plastic surgery that are not qualified. And um, I wouldn't want to invest in something like this, so I'm afraid I'm out. There appears to be agreement in the den as to the flaws in the business model. And now Peter Jones is ready to have his say. Your biggest issue is that if you, for example, allow a bad review to go up on a site, that is counterintuitive because if I owned that surgery and I was then not getting any referrals because of your one review that you've allowed to be posted on your website, that means one thing, an immediate cessation of your income. We've actually found that some of the, the clinics that have the, you know, that, that we've done that with carry on getting bookings because it's a Oh, come on, if you're going to be... Look, let's just quickly deal with this, because I, I have sat here politely listening, but the reality is that if that was to occur, you can't keep something up there and try and still take your £50 by pushing your traffic down there. That doesn't work. You can't do that. You know, you're professional guys. You can be part of that. I say good luck to you, because I think you're taking some income but I think it's short-term, this model. So I can't invest in short-term opportunities, so I'm out. Thanks. Okay, thank you very Thanks much. anyway, guys. Thanks for your time. After a tough encounter with the dragons, Tim and Ganesh leave the den 
without the hundred thousand pounds they came for. Not too well, did it? Just didn't like it, man. Do you know what? It's just the, it's the medical thing. It is. Didn't get it, what can you do? It's, you know, back to the drawing board, fella. Don't worry about it, man. It's back to the, the balls to come on and do it, so.